my YouTube friends. If you're setting up OBS Studio in 2026, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that OBS is more powerful than ever. The bad news, if you're watching tutorials from two years ago, you're setting yourself up for lag, blurry streams, and worst of all, potentially lost footage. Today, we aren't just setting up OBS. We're bulletproofing it. I'm gonna show you the specific settings to eliminate lag, the new standard for recording that makes file corruption absolutely impossible, and the audio trick that cleans up your audio and filters out unwanted background noise like your keyboard clicks for free. So you know what? Let's get to it. First things first, let's open our settings tab and then we're gonna to go to the output tab. At the very top, change output mode from simple to advanced. Because if you stay on simple, you're really playing with one hand tied behind your back. Now we're gonna to go to the recordings tab and this is the biggest change for 2026. For years, we've had to record in MKV and convert it later or risk MP4s corrupting if OBS crashed. Not anymore. Under recording format, you've got hybrid mp4 this is a game changer it writes the file in a way that if your power goes out or your pc crashes midstream it doesn't matter the file saved perfectly up to the second no conversion needed no lost footage so you really don't want to skip this now let's fix the lag switch over to the streaming tab for video encoders if you have an nvidia card you pretty much want the nvic h264 now if you have a 40 series card or newer you could use AV1 for YouTube, but Twitch doesn't really like it. So H.264 is still the most compatible beast for pretty much anything that you want to do. For rate control, you want to keep this CBR or constant bitrate. But now bitrate in 2026. Internet speeds have improved and the old standard was actually 4500. Forget that. If you're streaming at 1080 and 60 frames per second, you want to set this to 6000. And if you stream to YouTube specifically, you could theoretically push this to 10,000. But 6000 is the sweet spot for most people. Now here's the secret sauce that saves your PC. If you look at this preset down here, so many beginners pump this up to P7, slowest, best quality, but you know what? Don't do it. You can't see the difference, but your graphics card definitely feels it. Set it to P5. This looks 99% as good as the quality that you'd get from P7, and it adds all kinds of extra headroom to the rest of the system. Now you also have to set your key framing to two seconds. And this is pretty much just mandatory on about every platform. Now let's move to the video tab. Now your base canvas should match your monitor. Usually that's 1920 by 1080. Generally, I recommend keeping your output scaled resolution exactly the same as your output monitor. But if you're streaming on a potato, well, you can go down to 1280 by 720, and that's perfectly fine. But if you do do that, you wanna go ahead and drop this down and select Lysos. And the reason why is that's gonna keep your text and everything sharp when it downscales it. But like I said, keeping it the same as your base canvas is always optimal. Now we can just apply and go ahead and click OK. Now great video with bad audio is unwatchable. So let's fix your mic in 30 seconds. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a microphone here. We'll just add the one that already exists. I'm gonna right click, go to properties and take a look and we are using that one right there. Looks good. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and right click on there. We're gonna go into filters and then we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to noise suppression. We can click okay on that and you're gonna see two main options. And if you just have a CPU, you're gonna to wanna to use this RN noise. However, if you have an NVIDIA card, there is an absolutely awesome addition that really is magic. So let me show you how to install the NVIDIA noise remover. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download the one that is for the series of NVIDIA graphics card you have. In my case, it's the 50 series. We're gonna go ahead and download that. 
And what we're going to do is go into our downloads. And I'm just going to double click on there. You're going to get an administrative prompt that you can't see, but just click yes. And it's going to go ahead and install. Just click agree and continue and then close. And now it's installed. So you're probably going to have to close down your OBS and bring it back up in order for this to function. Then once you have that installed, we can right click again and go into filters. And what we're going to do is take this noise suppression. We're going to trash it. We're going to click this plus. And we're going to go and add the NVIDIA Audio Effects Filter. And then we can just drop this down and select what we want. NVIDIA Noise Echo, NVIDIA Noise Removal, or Room Echo and Noise Removal. In my case, I have a small room that has a lot of treatment, so just the NVIDIA Noise Removal will be just fine. And then you can adjust the suppression intensity. But if we're being honest, this NVIDIA Noise Removal is like the cheat code of noise removal. It can basically remove a vacuum cleaner that's running next to me and keep my voice clear. And the best part is it doesn't use any CPU, so it's not going to potentially lag your system. Finally, let's go ahead and get something on the screen. Now I see too many people using the display capture for everything. That captures your desktop icons, your notifications. It's a privacy nightmare and it's slower. I always use game capture for gaming. It hooks directly into the graphics card process, which means smoother frames, no accidental emails showing up on your stream either. Now you wanna have your game running in the background and you wanna go ahead and capture a specific window. Then you're gonna drop down window and capture that window. Now I don't have any games running, okay? So, but whatever your game is, it's gonna be here and you're gonna capture that and it's gonna give you the best results. There you have it. Your settings are modernized, your files are safe with Hybrid MP4, and your stream is optimized for performance. But having a great stream setup is only half the battle. Now you need something to show. If you wanna start streaming but aren't quite ready to show your face, or you just wanna have some fun with digital personas, well, you're going to need to watch this video. I show you how to set up a 3D VTuber avatar completely for free, it's the perfect next step for your OBS studio setup. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.